Yeah, so what I'm saying is, just a second. Yeah, so what I'm saying is, epsilon is, so, so you will put a epsilon when, epsilon means what? There exists a singleton language, but it has no words other than empty string. Okay. So, in a NFA, in a NFA, how it will look like? For epsilon, I have already told you, the starting state is the final state. Okay. This is the representation of epsilon in terms of a uh, epsilon NFA. Okay. In the last class we have discussed. What about phi? What about phi? So, phi is something that that does not exist any language. Okay. So, it cannot represent any language. So, I cannot create any, I cannot uh, for any, means I cannot reach any final state. Okay. So, it will be like I, I am in a starting state, but I cannot reach there, reach the, reach the final state. Okay. That is represented by phi. Okay. So, when I am saying that R3, so uh, where we have got this phi, R31. So, from 3, from state Q3, I cannot reach Q1. Okay. So, that is why R310 is phi. But, but what about R110 or R330? They remain in the state. Okay. But uh, that means I, I am reaching the final state, okay, 1 or 3 or anything, but I am not generating any symbol other than empty string. So, that is why it is epsilon, okay, okay. So, Srikant, so shall we close? Okay, okay then.